I haven't been back to the UK in two years now, but I do see a lot of stuff that goes on there on social media. And I can't help but question some of the stuff that's going on. This petrol shortage that everyone's talking about. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I don't really know what's going on. But uh, one of the West Ham players reacted to it and had a bit more of a humorous approach to it, more than some. And you're going to find out who it is in this week's version of Off The Press, as well as two other topics. Off The Press resumes normal activity this week. Last week I did a foreign languages special for European Day of Languages. We're back to doing three more topics again this week. I'm going to be talking about the AJ versus Yushik fight in which Andrzej Armalenko was in attendance as well as Declan Rice. I'm going to be talking about Thomas Suchek's reaction to the fuel shortage in the UK and also Fabian Balbuena talking to the British media about his time at West Ham because he's looked back on his time quite fondly and has just given an overall summary of what he thinks about the club. But anyway, let's start off with the AJ Usyk fight that happened last weekend. Unfortunately, I did not get to watch Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk because of the time difference. Um, it took place at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, and thinking about the arena right now, that gaff is cursed. That gaff is definitely cursed, and if you're AJ, yeah, you would probably agree with me, wouldn't you? Uh, Usyk won by unanimous decision and uh, a few West Ham players and some other celebrities were in attendance. Andrzej Armalenko and Declan Rice left the Leeds game, got in a helicopter and flew back to London in time for the fight. I mean, Yarmolenko was there to support his fellow countrymen, as was Declan Rice, and Usyk came out on top. Usyk previously has spoken about Yarmolenko after Yarmolenko had his third child. Um, Usyk knew about West Ham through Yarmolenko and he even has a West Ham jersey, so he does have some ties to West Ham in a way through a compatriot. Um, but congratulations to Usyk on winning, I'm sure I am a fan of Anthony Joshua and I've got to say it's gutting that he lost the fight, but it is what it is and he's going to just get back up and be stronger than ever. But congratulations to Usyk. And it was nice to have Andrzej Armalenko in attendance. This petrol shortage is causing quite some problems in the UK, ranging from running out of fuel completely at gas stations to people queuing up for miles just to get their cars full. It's caused problems with lower league teams. I know a lot of um, games in like the 8th and the ninth tier of the English footballing pyramid have had to be called off because of, well, fuel shortages and the fact that the queues are causing cars to idle and fuel to drain. West Ham player Thomas Suchet went to fill his car up and documented a thing on his Instagram story. Here's what he said to give his Czech followers an idea of what the situation's like. So this image, as you can see, shows a long line of him saying they had to wait. And, uh, well, patience is a virtue, they say, because look what happened next. Next little segment a few moments later. What a feeling. Cars full up of gas slash petrol for my Canadian and British people. Um... Yeah, so I went off a tangent there just because I'm, I'm in Canada now and I keep thinking gas, petrol, gas, petrol, the uh, petrol station. Okay, he went to the petrol station and that happened. So anybody in the Czech Republic who's wondering how bad the fuel situation's got in the UK, that's what it's like. Where I live in Canada, that's probably never going to happen because this province is stinking rich full of oil. So I don't think we're going to run out of oil here anytime soon because it's driving the economy. But the UK, man, I haven't been back in two years and stuff like this happens. How do I explain this to all my people over here? I don't know. You lot tell me. But yeah, nice to see one of the West Ham players got involved with the whole uh, fuel shortage thingy. Thought I'd talk about it. Paraguayan international centre-back Fabian Barbuena left West Ham over the summer after his contract expired. He subsequently joined Dinamo Moscow in the Russian Premier League. Since he joined Dinamo Moscow, he's been a regular starter and has played every single game for the full 90 minutes in the league season. He's reminisced on his time at West Ham and the three years that he spent in East London. Um, he spoke quite positively about the club, uh, saying how he watched the hooligan movie Green Street to learn English. He knew a little bit of English before he came, but it wasn't that fluent. By the time he left, he was a pretty fluent speaker of the language. Um, he knew about West Ham because of Carlos Tevez and Javier Mascherano playing there, and both of them played for his former club, Corinthians. Um, he spoke about uh, how he settled into the team really well because of players such as Manuel Lanzini and Mark Noble. 
And um, you know, just talked about his time in England very positively. He said that the fans were really passionate and they were a big driving force every single week. Uh, how he loved the fans and appreciated the support. And um, just looking back on it all, I have to say Babuena was a very likeable player because he was a leader, he was a strong centre-back, and he was good at heading the ball. Um, scored in that 3-3 draw against Spurs, that iconic game. Um, scored every single season he was here. He scored three goals across three seasons, one goal per season with West Ham. And um, now that he's gone to Russia, you know, he's got an opportunity there to play football in a different culture. He's played in South America, he's played in Western Europe, and now he's gone to play in Russia. And I wish him nothing but the best of luck for the future. Great servant to the club, represented the club really well, and I hope he does really well in Moscow. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Off The Press. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and comment below your opinions on these topics. If you do hear a whirring noise in the background, if the microphone does pick it up, I have a dehumidifier over there, which has been turned on all night. So I'm sorry about that if it does pick up on the mic. But thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all soon.